Introduction Current situation in the area of education both around the world and in the country requires particular measures to be applied in order to secure effectiveness and find results in it. The main objective of many schools is to ensure that learners perform well in their studies for them to attain success in life. This is a task that requires all schools to have set curriculum which makes it possible for the determination of the progress of the learners in their studies. However, my school has no set curriculum that shows true learning progress for the learners. It is important to provide adequate resources for our students to ensure that they learn well. Thus, evaluation of the situation shows that the current need in my educational setting is providing adequate resources to our students such as student workbooks, proper classroom materials to support lessons and materials for activities. Identifying specific needs for learners in an educational setting. First of all, with regards to the theme discussed in the paper, specific needs for learners in an educational setting are be identified. There are various methods that can be used to identify specific needs for learners in an educational setting. The method used to identify the needs of learners in the study is conducting an evaluation of their academic performance. Through such an evaluation, it is possible to identify the areas that the learners show weak performance and find ways of improving it. In this study, the performance of the learners is analyzed in relation to the learning resources they already have. For instance, the performance of learners who do not have all the required resources is compared with that of other learners who have the required resources to determine the extent to which availability of resources affects the performance of the learners. It is important to identify this need and address it fully because unless the need to provide adequate resources for learners is identified and addressed in the right manner, it is not possible for them to attain the expected performance. This ensures that the school administration puts the right strategies in place that assist the learners to get the quality education they are supposed to get. Various ways of addressing the needs of learners. Further, various ways of addressing the needs of learners will be evaluated. The first method of ensuring that this is achieved is by putting in place a well-equipped library where learners can access the materials they require in order for them to perform well in their studies. This is an effective way of addressing their needs since they can access the library at their own convenience. In her book, Bub suggests a number of practical ways of helping students in the use of libraries. These practical recommendations will help teachers to improve the situation in my educational setting. Next, the second method of addressing the needs is by partnering with organizations that support education in order to acquire materials that are necessary for proper classroom instruction. Classroom instruction is an important tool that should be utilized in the right manner to ensure that the learners achieve the desired results. In situations where there are no adequate materials for classroom instruction, the performance of the learners definitely goes down. Addressing the frameworks of motivation, management, instruction, and assessment. Finally, the frameworks of motivation, management, instruction, and assessment are to be addressed in connection to the topic. Assessment is important and is achieved through class examinations. Motivation is important for learners since it ensures that they work harder towards achieving the best results they can achieve. Some of the methods of motivating learners include giving them rewards after good performance and complementing their good work. In their book, Barbara and Terry Field provide numerous recommendations concerning the use of varied motivation methods which are dedicated to inspiring students for better achievements in their school subjects. Next, management involves ensuring that the learners do what they are supposed to do without failure. This is achieved through monitoring them very closely. Instruction is achieved through the teachers who deliver the knowledge learners are supposed to acquire in class. It is important that the four frameworks, motivation, management, instruction, and assessment, are incorporated into your curriculum to have a well-rounded learning environment that supports student progress and learning. Conclusion As a final point, the situation in modern education needs considerable efforts to be made in order to guarantee effective changes in it helping to train well-deserved citizens for the society. 
Nowadays, schools experience significant difficulties which are caused by social and political changes within the society. Teachers have to implement new methods and strategies which would help them to create successful educational atmosphere for their students. It is also important to ensure that learners get the resources they require for them to perform well in their studies as learners who are supplied with the necessary resources exhibit good class performance as opposed to those who lack the resources. In addition, teachers are not to forget about motivation, management, instruction and assessment as these frameworks are necessary for attaining the most inspiring horizons in the area of education. Everything you need for studies, essay samples, writing tools, and tips, you can find at studycorgi.com.